What up? Hi. So. So. Welcome to winter. Yes. Just kidding. Um. So, okay, so like maybe a month or two ago, I walked out of the apartment and I went to turn on my MP3 player and all the music had fucking disappeared, right? Remember this? Yes. And I was really sad and I was like, fuck, I gotta create a new playlist. And how much music do we have? Millions of hours. Like, we have a ton of fucking music. So to dig through 90% of it, which I do not like, to like create the most epic playlist, which somehow got deleted off my computer, was like, fuck, right? So I kept putting it off and I was like, I need music, right? So then I made a playlist. And uh, so I was going through all this music on the computer to figure out the playlist that would go on my MP3 player. And there was so much music that I love and that I used to listen to all the time that I'm just way too old. Like I'm, I'm, I'm way too old. I'm a grandpa pants. Like all the sad shit. Like the only fucking crybaby music I could put on my MP3 player was um, a little bit of uh, Elliot Smith. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like all that emotional music, like I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. I used to only listen to it. It's like now, it's like I listen to rap. Like if I like if there's any emotion that I need to feel, rap is going to express it. Whereas a couple years ago, um, I was like fuck rap because I used to love rap, and then I was like fuck rap, and then I was like only listening to some crybaby bullshit, and now I just can't hang because I'm fucking old. <sighs> Isn't that a great story? Didn't you need to hear that? The, the all-telling story of your music tastes. Dude, what's gonna happen in ten years when I can be like, fuck rap? You're gonna get into Frank Zappa. False. <laughs> Dude, every time you put that on, I'm like, no! <laughs> I'm like, be cool, bitch. Be cool. <laughs> so I don't, I don't express the pain out, out loud. I bury it deep inside and then listen to rap to purge, purge the emotions. Um, when, uh, when my ex was contacting me, like a, like a month or two ago, he was emailing me and he was like sending me these fucking major fucking emotional songs and he was like, he'd send me a song like in an email just total random and he'd be like, alright now you send me a song. And I was like, bitch, I know what you're doing and I'm not playing. So I would just, so I would be like, uh, I wouldn't say anything and I would send back, um, Vince Staples. <laughs> 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 he was sending me like Silver Mount Zion and shit, which was like, I mean, he was sending me particular songs that were just like, seriously, I'm not interested in committing suicide and jumping off bridges. Like maybe 10 years ago when I knew you, like that was who I was, but I'm an adult now to some degree or not. <clears throat> like, I just don't feel those sad emotions. I used to live in that state, but now... Now I live like a gangster. So, <laughs> so he sent me all the sad shit, and I was like, "Bitch, I know what you're doing. You want me to be like, oh, here's another sad song to express my deep, dark emotion." And I was like, "Vince Staples, bam!" And he was like, "Okay." And then he sent me another sad ass song, and uh, and then I sent him the. Uh, the Danny Brown album, the whole one. <laughs> it was, uh, I just felt like, I'm only telling this story because I'm a champion. Like, as so many times I've been such a little bitch when I talk to him, I'm like, oh, I'm sad too. Let's, let's be sad together. But now I'm like, I'm a champion so I can tell the story because I'm not a bitch. So, so that was that story. So there's a story of me winning. <laughs> Where's the story of me not winning? All right, this bitch ass weather. Oh my God, it never snows in Texas. Dude, the first day I went to school in Texas because we moved to Texas in 1996, uh, which is a, uh, you know, a biggie Tupac kind of year <laughs> <laughs> to all the youngins. It snowed and I had just moved from New York state. So it was a fucking blizzard. It was November. And it like had a little snow flurry, so the whole all the teacher was like, or the the teacher was like, hey everybody, let's go outside. And me and the other new kid who was from somewhere else up north, we looked at each other like, I'll pass. We were like, peace. It's just like that, peace. <laughs> 
All right, everybody. Peace.